Okay, now that our scheme is installed, we're going to want to add one more property to this connect method, and that is use create index true. Um, we need to add this in because we're using a unique property on the username field. If you want to learn more about that, please Google search use create index um, because I just don't have enough time to talk about it now as this tutorial is going to be quite long. And we're then going to want to start installing our middleware so we can actually start using GraphQL um, with our Express application. So I'm going to open up iTerm, I'm going to install npm install hyphen hyphen save Apollo server express then space GraphQL. So that's going to install those two packages. I'm then going to head over to um, my Google Chrome and I've actually opened up the documentation. I'm going to supply the link in the description if you want to read into it. But this is essentially essentially what we're going to want to do. We we'll want to, at the top of the document, we want to include this constant <coughs> and then we're going to want to define our types so if we just take this for example actually I'll type it out it's just so you can see so underneath our schema I'm going to do const type defs and these are our GraphQL um, t um, schema essentially so GQL and then I'm going to do a backtick And um, within you, we want to define our blog and our user. So if I just open this up, we're going to want to define the schema, the GraphQL schema for these mongoose um, schema. So we just want to like match them up basically. So I'm going to do type blog, and then we're going to do title string with a capital S and then we need to do an exclamation mark and that um, stands for required true then author string we don't need to do commas with this either body string and I'm going to do date string um, I'm not sure if that's 100% correct but we leave it like that for now but then I'm going to want to do the same for user We're going to want to do username string exclamation mark password string exclamation mark email string exclamation mark and then date and we'll do string again <coughs> so now that our types are defined we're going to want to do one more, which is um, query, and essentially this is going to be like the entry point um, for our uh, GraphQL. And <coughs> sorry, I'll explain what I mean later on. But for now, we can just do um, show all blogs, and then we can define blog here. So if we look back at the example, we now need to do resolvers. So const resolvers. And this is going to be the query. We can just do it as an empty function for now. Um, as an empty object, sorry. And I'm just going to close this second window. <clears throat> so 
So I'm just going to take this. And underneath my Mongoose um, connection, I'm going to paste that in there. Let me just get this out of it. And within this um, function, I'm going to just break this down to some new lines, this object. We're going to want to do a new line for context. And we're going to open up an object. And we're essentially going to pass in this blog and this user. So we're going to do blog and then user. And I'm also going to, I'm just going to take this listen and replace that words because it's just um, slightly better formatted. So you don't really need to worry too much about what exactly is going on yet because we're going to go into things in depth um, as we come to them. But I'm just going to save this now. I'm going to go to our terminal window. I'm going to do npm run server. Okay, so we've got an issue with that function for the query. I'm just going to remove the semicolon. And it started up our local host. And if we just take this URL, you can actually see, uh, yours will probably be closed, but it's actually loaded up this sort of console. And this is where we can like test our queries, etc. And if you click schema on the side, you can actually see that our query function is there uh, with show all blogs. And it shows all the fields that we have. So I know we haven't gone into things in much depth yet, but those things will come. Um, it's just we've got everything started now and we've got a good starting point to move forward.